Right, so this week's winner on the PGA Tour, Troy Merritt. We decide to have a, a little look at his golf swing. Um, so see where this young guy is getting his power from. Um, he's quite wiry. Uh, he's not particularly muscular, but he does hit, he does shift the ball out there. He hits it a fair distance. Um, he's obviously quite accurate this week as well, which was which was good to see for him after having missed so many cuts just recently. I think he was missed five cuts in a row and then one. So it gives all of us golfers who have been in a bit of a slump um, some hope. You know, things can be going really bad and then next thing you know, you're winning your first PGA Tour event. So good on him. So the first thing I'd like to look at is how Troy retains flex. in his trail leg. And this is certainly something that I by no means are encouraging people to do. Uh, it's just a trait of his swing. It's just something that he is getting power from. And that's not to say you'll get power from it. There's always a trade off. <clears throat> if one, work moves, or one move works for somebody, it's probably unlikely to work for the next guy. So I'm just gonna skip him through the top of his backswing and you'll notice that the flex that was in his leg of the dress pretty much all of that flex has been retained now that what's what that actually means is that his hips have not rotated a great deal um, certainly not as much as what you would see from some other guys on the tour but his upper half has actually rotated it's difficult to measure from this angle but we'll assume it's rotated fully somewhere between Maybe it's 80 to maybe it's 105, 110 degrees, something like that. So that's that's quite that's quite he's flexible. He's flexible, that's for certain. And not many people can do that. I wouldn't necessarily suggest people tried to do that. Uh, it could be a potential back injury if you tried it. But there's a lot of twisting effects. His abdominal muscles, his lower back muscles, quads, glutes. There's a lot of stretching going on. Uh, when these muscle fibers then contract in the downswing, it will create a lot of rotational speed, certainly from his midsection coming from his core. The second thing I'd like to point out with Troy, and this is a characteristic that you'll see with a lot of the tour players, and I would encourage this for any club golfer to work at and try to do and I'm just going to measure the direction of Troy's grip end. And I'm just going to rewind him. And then just look at the actual angle of the shaft in comparison to that angle. So we'll do all right. So we'll say that's the direction of Troy's handle, 62 degrees, something like that. And I'll now move him through. And we notice straight away that the shaft end, or sorry, the shaft angle is underneath or as some people may understand, flatter. In the direction of the handle. So for anybody wanting to hit a draw, a powerful draw, that's a characteristic that you'd like to see in the goal swing. And a lot of people, a lot of amateurs, tend to find that they will get the shaft angle on the other side of the hand direction or the handle end direction. Um, something that's very, very common. It tends to be quite weak and tends to coincide with an open club first and a difficulty to let the club release itself through the impact area. So those are two 
key points for Troy to hit the ball further. One, the retaining of the, the flex in the trail leg, or his right leg. And the second, the shaft angle drops underneath the direction of his hands or the handle end. Um, and that allows him to create the speed that he does. So if anybody's got any questions, please leave them in the comments, comments box below. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.